All right. So, as I said, Parliament a little bit different today. We're waiting for question time, which is only half an hour away. And you've been hearing about the NBN bill. The coalition saying this seems to be a bit hasty. Not sure why they're doing it. Labor says they're determined to say it will never be sold off. Let's have a listen to the Prime Minister introducing this bill as it's being brought on for debate today. To overseas interests and making sure that every Australian, whether they live in the city or in the regions or in the outer suburbs, can count on the affordable, reliable and fast internet that they need and that they deserve. Publicly owned, affordable for all. Madam Deputy Speaker, or Madam S Mr Speaker, <laughs> Prime Minister Gough Whitlam once said that his definition of equality was every child in Australia having a quiet room to study in and a desk with a lamp to read by. That was in the 1970s. In 2024, every Australian child sit, needs to be sitting at their desk with access to the MBN. That's true for school, for TAFE, for university, and every household needs it too. The MBN makes telehealth possible. It makes working from home possible as well. I remember, I remember being in the electorate of the uh, member for Richmond, Order. where the member for banks will see some change. Where health services being delivered, making an enormous difference. Something that was written off by the coalition, who argued that it was all about videos and watching videos. It's about delivery of services. All right. So interesting, Labor looking to pick this fight. It looks like uh, legislation, though, to formalise, it seems, not being able to sell off the NBN. Originally, the plan, when it was uh, way back when, uh, dreamt up or thought up by Labor, was to ultimately privatise it. No longer the plan, and they're seeking to sort of emphasise that. We'll see what the Coalition says. As you heard from Jane Hume, they're waiting to see the detail on that. Question time, not far away.